So, another thing we can do to is to change the scene duration, or length of time the scene is to match the looping effect. When I say to match the looping, looping effect, what I mean is that we have a three second animation that we're looping. So instead of it just being three seconds, we can extend that scene out. It makes sense to do it as a multiple of three, so that the full animation that was three seconds long has ended by the time the scene ends. Multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve. So one way I can do that is I can drag this flag here, which I moved over in the last video, and drag that to let's just say twelve, which is a multiple of three. Now, our scene duration would end at 12 seconds. Notice when I did that in the scene inspector over here that this also changed to 12. I can double click that and change that to another number if I want to. Let's just say instead of 12, I move it to 15. I click enter and notice the flag moved to 15 down here on the timeline. Change your scene duration to whatever you want it to be, but that's how you do it. You can do it down here in the timeline, or you can do it in the scene inspector by double clicking and then just hitting enter.